Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a look using the infamous Sweet Peach Palette by Too Faced. It has been so requested because I'm doing my giveaway on it. So if you have not entered in that giveaway yet, I'll have it linked down below the way to enter. Make sure you go enter because I'm giving one of those away. So this is the look I created today. Very peachy look. I wanted to keep it peachy golden. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then keep on watching. Let's just go ahead and get started. We're starting out with nothing on our face. I'm probably just going to focus on the eyes. No face makeup because my skin has been so dry recently that even my CC cream that I've been wearing is too dry for it. CC cream is too dry for it. First things first, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Smooth Canvas Long Wear Shadow Primer in the color Malt. This is going to be my primer for my eyeshadow, and I probably should have a mirror in front of me, huh, guys? I genuinely want to know, do you guys prefer talk-through tutorials like this, or do you prefer, like, no talking at all? Like, just music? Do you prefer a voiceover? I feel like when I do no talking at all, I feel like I've just like totally robbed you guys because that doesn't take much effort to make the video. So I at least like to do a voiceover. I figured today I would just do a talk through because it's been so long since I've done one. Chit chat. Get ready with me. Like I said, we're going to be using the Sweet Peach Palette as so many of you guys have requested. First color I'm going to take is White peach to really set down my primer since it is such a sticky primer. I don't particularly like it for setting down but I use it anyway because it is the only light enough color for it but it's got a little bit of a sheen like it looks matte in the pan but as you can see as I'm putting it on there's a little bit of like a glow to it. I really really like it on the brow bone because of that. Okay next I'm going to take the color Peaches and Cream. I almost called it Beaches and Cream. I'm really interested to see how this compares to Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream. This is Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream. So Beaches and Cream is on my middle finger. Peaches and Cream is on my index finger. So Peaches and Cream is a little bit lighter. There's a little bit more of an orange tinge to Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. I don't know. Food for thought, I guess. Here they are swatched. Beaches and Cream on top. I've been interested in swatching them next to each other for a while now, I just haven't actually gotten around to it. I actually prefer Peaches and Cream as a transition shade. It just goes all along with the fact that I'm really pale. It just really offers a nice transition. Since it is the peach palette, I should probably do a peach eye. You guys are probably like, duh. So next I'm going to take Georgia. This really pretty light peachy shade and I'm going to add that on top of peaches and cream just to add the peachy vibe to a transition color. Do I want Bellini or just peachy for my lid shade? Bellini is absolutely beautiful. Bellini is that color and then Just Peachy is that color. Bellini is a really pretty like rose gold so I don't think it's that peachy. So let's go with Just Peachy just to ensure that we're doing a real peach eye. So Just Peachy on a flat brush. Look how pigmented that is. That's one tap. Putting that all over my lid. Next, I'm going to take the color Puree. It is this orangey brown. And I'm just going to put this in the crease. Going in to the color next to Puree, which is Summer Yum. I love this color. There's just something about this brown color. So I'm just putting that on the outer corner 
and focusing it out there and then bringing it in a little bit. Back to Just Peachy and doing exactly what we did, just placing it on the lid. I'm going in with this brush, which is from Coastal Sins. I'm gonna take Peaches and Cream and Georgia together and shade that under my lash line. I'm going to take Puree, and this color I'm going to place it right under the lash line and really just blend it out. Like we're not doing very precise work here. Okay, so that just added the brown under the eyes. I'm going to go in with Bless Her Heart on the lower lash line. It's my new favorite thing to do, honestly. Okay, so that just added something a little bit different to the look. Back to the top, I'm going to do my brow bone highlight, which I'm just going to use the color White Peach, which is the white color we used to set the primer. Look at it on the brow bone, though. Like, something about this color just glows, and I love it. This is the Star Looks Pro Luxe Longwear Eyeliner Pin. And we're just going to do a thin line across. Should I do a little wing? No, no, let's not. Did the liner, just a thin line. You can do a wing if you want to. I wasn't feeling it today. I am going to add my little pop of highlight that I've been loving to do with this palette. I take the color Nectar, which is one of my all-time favorite colors from this palette. Something about this color, I don't even know, it's such a light but still yellow gold. It's gorgeous. Take it on my finger and pop it. Adds a little something something and I even love it as an inner corner highlight. Just adds so much dimension to the look. I don't know. I love it. I'm going to try a new mascara for this look just because. Uh, Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Never even open this, but let's try it just to see what happens. This is what the brush looks like. Hmm. It's not horrible, but it's not like anything super like extravagant. My Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara for my bottom lashes. For the lips, I'm going to try one of Manny's new lipsticks, which he did as a collab with Ofra. I mostly bought these because I was buying Aries for Alexa because she's an Aries and I got it for her for her birthday, but I couldn't turn down buying the other two. I'm going to try going in with Charmed. I think it'll look okay. I haven't even opened these yet. Smells like cake. This color is gorgeous. I'm in love with how it looks. I was a little worried because a lot of colors can make me look washed out when it's a natural, everyday nude. Beautiful. I'm in love with this. Okay guys, so that is the completed look using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. Like I said, go and enter my giveaway for it if you have not already. If you're interested in entering, it'll be linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all in my next one, and in the meantime, make sure to spread some positivity.